So hello there and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we'll be looking at how to build this UIs you guys see here. So today I was just moving through Dribble and I came across this UI here. Right, so I'll leave a link um to this UI in the description. And today I want us to go through how you can build this in Flutter. Right, so if you're a beginner and you want to work on a project, you want to know how to approach UIs, then this is the perfect video for you. So I'm going to break this video into um, four parts, right? And in the first part, we'll just be looking at the general layout. In the second part, we are going to build the first page. And then the third part, we build the second page. In the fourth part, we build the last page. So if you are excited, um, hit the like button subscribe so that you don't miss future videos so let's get straight into um, this ui working on the layout so i've first downloaded the ui here right and let's analyze the ui we have over here to see how we can build it easily right so if you want to build something like this imagine you are working with a designer and you've been given this ui to work on the first thing is how do I um, convert these UIs into widgets I know in Flutter? That's the first thing you have to think of. Because if you're able to map um, parts of the UI to the widgets you know in Flutter, it becomes much easier to build. So starting from the first screen, we can assume that the top part is always the app bar in this particular instance, right? So it's an app bar that has a drawer. So this will be our drawer. And then if you want a custom button for the drawer, you can use the leading property in the app bar so that you open the drawer manually or you can just use the drawer property. And that's going to give you that button. Now this is going to be our title, but then in a column, right? So the title widget can take um, any, the title property can take any widget. And then we're not just going to use a text, but we're going to use a column. Also on our actions, we have this, um, bell icon with a notification dot at the top here right now anything afterwards so from this section of the page um, down to this section can be considered as the body of this particular page right now within the body um, we are assuming the body will scroll because obviously when you have part of the UI obscured it means it's going to scroll so you can use any of the scrollable widgets in Flutter, but then I'll prefer list view, right? So you just have a list view in the body. And then within the list view, since we have some pardon, right? You can see that there is pardon um, on this particular page in the body. We just apply some pardon to the list view. Now, within the list view, we are going to have a row here, right? Which has our um, text field and then an icon button and you will know that in this particular case, the icon button is not um, a suffix, right? So a suffix would have been when the icon button is within um, the search. But in this case, it's outside. So having a row and then maybe an expanded in the text field will give us this layout. Now this could be thought of like a card, right? With um, a row and a column. So we have our text here and then we have some text below it and a button and then our image right so all this could be thought of like a card with a row and then a column so this will be the row taking this guy here and then the image will be the row and then within it the left side we are going to have our column right which has um this text and the button and then our image here as well now still within the list view which is in the body we will have our title and then um our text button over here which is a see all button which we assume will take us to a page where we'll be able to see all featured products so this will be a row right obviously because it's in a row form and then when we get to this section this section is where we show our list of products now in order to build out this section we are going to use a grid view right so we want to have items in the form of a grid and this can be two on a smaller device three on a tablet and maybe if you're even targeting desktop 
it could be four or on bigger tablets it could be four so what you do is we use a grid view builder depending on the number of items you are having to build out this layout now when we are using two um scalable widgets right so we are having a list view and then you are also having a grid view within the list view that is going to cause um errors in flutter so you have to make sure that this particular um grid view is not scrolling right so in order to set that we can set the scroll phases of the grid view and we are going to look at that when we get into the video so this is going to be our card and this is going to be a custom component that we create so we can use the normal card widget in flutter and then um, we can have our image here so you realize that this part of the card could be thought of like a, a stack right the reason why it's going to be a stack is because we have the image first and then we have our um, bookmark icon button on top of it so we have to stack these two again we have that we have some space over here and then a title and then we have a row which has um, a button right so this should be the price and then an icon button to add it to cart also so it's just going to be a um, one component like this and then we are going to reuse that component by passing the image the title or the name of the product and then its price and also its unit since the unit changes right and that's how all these um, layouts we built for the home page now moving to the details page we have our app bar here again and automatically imply leading which means whenever you go to a page a flutter is automatically going to add a back button for you so we are not going to think about the back button over here but then we have our title which is the details and then the action of our app bar we have this bookmark button there also realize that this page can also scroll right so um, it's going to be in a list view for the body so the body is going to have a list view and then we have our image over here which is our hero image if you try to use hero transitions right so now we have our text so just within the list view everything is flowing um, in a column way so we have our text title here and maybe a row here right so a row and then we have our text um and then a price here now this is not aligned properly um in the context of this layout which is this ui because you can see that the written is a little bit off compared to um, the the quantity adjustment buttons so uh, in the ui we'd have to make sure that all these are on one line right by putting them aligning them to the center in the row after that we have our description which is um, a title here and then the text description text will be here if you like to implement the read more um, it's very easy to implement it and then we have our related products now our related products um will have a scrollable um, kind of widget right so because we want to be able to scroll horizontally right so we can have a size box here to constrain the scrollable widget which is or maybe at least view or single child scroll view anyhow you want to have it depending on your implementation but most i prefer list views and then um, within that list we have our related product here then we finally a button that says add to cut right so the layout over here is um, pretty straightforward and then back to the services on the services page we are going to have our text services still maintaining our um, notification icon button here and then all these places are just going to be a grid view right so grid view with two columns and then we have a stack which has um, this glass morphism effect here which we also um, learn how to do it in the code and then that will be for our services page we currently don't have uis for the cat page and the profile page but then we can get um, the whole layout so this is what we'll be working on and um, in this video we've just gone through the whole layout in the next video we'll be looking at how to build it starting from the home page right so if you don't want to miss how to build this in the actual code then subscribe and turn on the notification to get alerts when um, that video is in thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one